Hello friends, this is Fakadu from Youth and Education Support Service Ethiopia. I just made an update about the upcoming conference, which is going to be held between February 16 and 17 in Amharic. Now I'm trying to do also in English so that you have a clear picture about what we are doing, what we are expecting to get and how we can work together. So this conference is going to be the first since we started Yes Ethiopia in the United States. And one of our major aims is to uh, globally launch our services to show and to attract people that would like to work with us. So we want to show about Ethiopia, we want to share our experiences, we want to invite organizations to be with us in the same room to explore areas for collaboration and to work together. So, so far we have about 330 people registered for this conference. People are coming from 14 different countries, including United States, Canada, Australia, Japan, Germany, Kenya, Ethiopia, Malaysia. So, how can we work together? We can co-host the event. Also, let us know if you are interested to join and present and share your experiences, especially in areas of remote jobs, employability areas, and uh, study abroad, master's and PhD programs, higher education programs, short courses, also like how to support, you know, the universities in Ethiopia, especially students that are registered in country and that who are looking for uh, PhD advisors, research topics, you know, and uh, those who would like to publish together research papers. There are a lot of opportunities to collaborate. So there is a room to work with us and we can co-host this event and you also uh, can present about your organization. This is an opportunity. If you are thinking of hosting a conference, if you have a mission in Ethiopia, if you have an organization in Ethiopia that's targeting youth and education, investment and jobs, this is the time. So we're doing good. I'm very happy. In less than four days, three days, now more, we have more than 300 people. Most of these participants are from Ethiopia. But we also have a virtual uh, opportunity to join this conference. So February 16 is a virtual program and February 17 is going to be uh, in person in Addis Ababa, highly grand hotel. So those of you who would like to join online, the registration fee is only $50. It's very small compared to most conferences I see here in the United States because we make it cheaper. We know the paying purchasing power of our young people. A lot of people cannot afford to pay even $50. So we, want, we are finding ways to make it accessible and so that people who don't have the resources can also join, especially young people looking for opportunities. We are finding ways so that they also join this conference, present their ideas and also engage with potential partners. So as yeah, the conference registration is going good and we're um, still asking for more participation. So please help us by sharing this information among your network, among your friends and families, especially talk to us if you have missions in Ethiopia and if you are working on the Ethiopian diaspora. We are focusing especially the Ethiopian potential in the United States, the African potential in the United States and the, the opportunity to work together between Africa and the United States and the rest of the world. So, yeah, I'm very happy about the progress, but it's a lot of work. As you know, it's like almost preparing for a wedding. So there's a lot of work to be done. The best way is sharing. So I'm openly asking for help. Please help me. Technically, you can help. Also financially, you can help. You can help by promoting, by connecting us with potential employers. I also would like to take this opportunity to invite like international universities, especially those where Ethiopian students, African students are going. This is an opportunity to inform future students. This is an opportunity for you to share with the young people in Africa about your education programs, about your business programs, about your experiences, and also about opportunities to work together. Nowadays, remote jobs are becoming very common, but a lot of us are not fully clear about how this thing happens. What is the way to work for an employer in Ethiopia while you are in the United States or to work for an employer in the United States while you live in Africa? What did you learn from this kind of experiences? So come forward, 
tell us, work with us, guide us. This is the first international conference we are trying to demonstrate to the young people in Africa. We know conferences are very big standards, but most of these conferences are not affordable. They are not accessible for the people from low-income countries, especially for young, early career professionals. So we are using the technology so that we make the international conference easily accessible to our brothers and sisters. We are trying to show them the way so that they can make it better. We are also learning through the process. It's the first time. The best way to learn is by doing something. We have been thinking about this kind of program for a long time. Now, thanks to God, I'm United States here in US. I'm learning a lot from US. And I have a lot of friends on LinkedIn, on social media. We meet a lot every week. We have weekly sessions on LinkedIn, as you know. We have session 55 was conducted last Saturday. So now we want to go a little bit higher. Everybody doesn't come to weekly sessions. There are people that should be invited officially. So from United States, we have three public universities interested. We have three state universities, including uh, delegates from University of Nebraska, uh, Oklahoma State University, University of Missouri, I think Missouri State University. There are also other Ethiopian diaspora businesses and uh, <clears throat> others from Europe and from Africa who already contacted us. Please come forward. Let's do it fast and clear. So we need to get done two weeks before the event. Everything should be fully complete. And then we should know how many people are attending this event, who is presenting about what, when, and also the resources at hand. So, yes, yeah, very expensive. We are hosting this event in one of the best hotels in Addis Ababa. Haile Grand is one of the best. As you know, Haile Gavrasilasi is the legend of Ethiopia and Africa and the world. He has 27 records. And he is one of the best entrepreneurs. He is in the agriculture sector, in the hotel industry, in import-export. And we want to, you know, be there at Haile Resort and then, you know, motivate our young people that everything is possible. Even hosting international conference is possible. Thanks to the minds that made this internet technology. Nowadays, having the internet, having the mobile technology at home is like having a very big television network at home. So we want to show this to our students, to our brothers and sisters. It's also a chance to have a cultural awareness about each other. As you know, you could hear from me speaking English, like language by itself is something that we could, you know, exchange and conferences are an opportunity to make that cultural and language exchange, education exchange, partnership, and also going to actions. Remote jobs, small businesses, higher education, short courses, investment, food systems, and use. I come from a nutrition major, come from agriculture and nutrition major. I've been engaged in different nutrition conferences. I openly like invite our nutrition partners from Ethiopia and globally, let's discuss about use. How can we use the young people? How can the young people be part of the uh, food systems missions, sustainable uh, food systems and climate related global missions? So please come and work with us and help me by sharing this message across your friends. And thank you very much for supporting us.